Hi everybody, hope you're well. Uh, today I will read from a book titled Concrete in Switzerland, Histories from a Recent Past, uh, edited by Salvatore Aprea, Nicola Navone and Lauren Stalder with a visual essay by Sara Nichols, published by EPFL Press. Although the initial and decisive steps in the development of reinforced concrete took place mainly in the United Kingdom, France and Germany during the 19th century, Switzerland boasts a not inconsiderable record for the speed and breadth with which it adopted this new and composite material in the 20th century, as well as for the capillarity with which concrete infiltrated all aspects of the material and cultural processes that enlivened civil engineering and architecture architecture and moved the construction sector with considerable repercussions on the transformation and characterization of the territory. Hence, what seems particularly striking for Switzerland is the close relationship between nation-building, the institutionalization of technical and scientific research and the rapid industrialization and growing welfare of the 20th century, linked as it is to the wide availability of local cement. As a matter of fact, concrete has probably done more than any other material to transform the Swiss territory. Not so much in the realm of formal innovation, however, since such transformation is always first and foremost an outcome of different types of expertise – statics, material science, geology, etc. – of new players, engineers, entrepreneurs, scholars, of new processes, construction and manufacture, and of new needs, circulation, energy, logistics, security, all of which have a profound and enduring impact on the Swiss territory. Accordingly, it has many repercussions both for the construction of a modern infrastructure with its civil engineering subterranean structures and for the simultaneous reorganization of knowledge in the parallel fields of geology, engineering and architecture. It concerns technological issues as much as it does social, economic and aesthetic considerations. Over the course of the 20th century, various structures built independently from one another – dams, bridges, bunkers, highways and railways, as well as storage depots, factories and housing – come to constitute an interdependent infrastructure network covering the Swiss territory in its entirety and encompassing everything in its path, from artificial networks, energy, transport to natural ones, waterways, and from the built environment to topography. Not to mention the material network of knowledge and expertise developed and disseminated through an efficient research and education system. Hence, local Swiss insight about concrete and the manifold aspects of its production and use can act as a litmus test to understand broader matters about the transformation of the built environment and its global consequences. And right now, in this very moment of historical importance, when concrete has become the climate's bitter enemy for the more than 4 billion tons of carbon dioxide deriving from its production annually and a symbol for environmental destruction, the three main architectural archives in Switzerland the GTA Archive and the Archives de la Construcción Moderne from the Swiss Federal Institutes of Technology in Zurich and Lausanne, as well as the Archivio del Moderno of the Università della Svizzera Italiana in Balerno, together with the SAM Swiss Architecture Museum based in Basel, thought that the time had come to make a historical assessment of the material. In 2019, a first symposium financed by the Swiss National Science Foundation was held in Zurich, bringing together national and international scholars to both present and test the hypothesis of this work. The results of this research that preceded and followed the symposium are presented in an exhibition and in the present collective book. The exhibition was showcased at the SAM from November 2021 to April 2022. It has been developed under the scientific direction of Sarah Nichols in cooperation with a curatorial team from the SAM and has been produced under the direction of Andreas Ruby. The book, in turn, examines a series of moments in the history of reinforced concrete in Switzerland, from the early stages of its introduction 
research, prototypes, tests, standards, etc. to its production in cement works and on construction sites and use in civil engineering and architecture, right through to its reception and representation in different media, literature, cinema, photography. It consists of two parts. The first collects 13 essays written by national and international scholars from the field of history, history of architecture, engineering and technology, while the second, using the register of the visual essay, presents nine stories illustrating the visual power of the material, from its extraction to its destruction. The essay is the result of Nichols' long archival research on concrete, and it formed the basis for the exhibition at the SAM. As stated by its subtitle, the book approaches the subject from different perspectives. It is not intended to be exhaustive, but more to enable the development of a future history of reinforced concrete in Switzerland, which is still to be written. Ask for the book at your local bookstore. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.